teenager lured from social media to a home in D.C. The facts are horrific and scary, I would think, for families to have to deal with, with the set of circumstances that we have here. Tonight, two men posing as a father and son are accused of sexually assaulting that teenager they met online. Now, these two men are 45 years old and 19 years old, and the older of the two is a convicted sex offender. Jennifer Dolan is live in Northwest Washington with the details, including a warning for parents tonight. Jen. That's right. Uh, Candace Allison, if these allegations are true, this is indeed really scary stuff. This convicted sex offender, we're told, was released from prison in the fall. He registered as a sex offender in December. Now, just months later, police want parents to take a good look at his picture and the 19 year old suspect just in case there are any other victims out there. 45 year old Orlando Roberts was locked up more than a decade ago for raping a child. Now the convicted sex offender is accused of it again, but this time police said he had a partner, 19 year old Javon Henson of District Heights. The pair is accused of luring a 14 year old Laurel girl over the internet, posing as a father and son, lying to the girl's mother, and then raping the young teen over and over again at this house in Northwest DC. They're alleging that they brought the 14 year old girl and raped her repeatedly inside this house. Is he your son? The woman said yes, he was, but otherwise refused to speak to us. There could potentially be more victims. And that's adding to an already intense investigation. The 14 year old told police, according to documents, she met the 19 year old on Instagram. He said she was cute, and the two continued communicating on kick. Then she spoke with both men on the phone. Court records show Roberts identified himself as the father. She said she would have to ask her mom permission to hang out, and Roberts offered to lie to her mother since his, quote, son was 19 years old. For her to stand forward and to make it publicly known, that's a courageous act. Court documents revealed the men drove to Maryland, met the girl's foster mother, and then drove her back to Robert's home on Park Place. The rest of the allegations are simply too graphic. She was escorted to the basement, where both men raped her and sexually assaulted her numerous times, according to police. She told detectives she was scared and nervous, and when it was all over, she said Robert told her she couldn't tell anyone anyone that this was their secret. Her coming forward might be a way to allow other victims to come forward. Now, as for the 45-year-old Orlando Roberts, he's expected in court behind me at any moment. The 19-year-old suspect in this case, he's being held in Prince George's County where he was arrested and is awaiting extradition here to the district. If you have any information in this case, if your family and you feel like your young folks in your family have had any contact with these two, D.C. police said they want you to call them. Reporting live from Northwest, I'm Jennifer Donnell and ABC 7 News. Okay, Jen.